Universities are not actually teaching you what's needed in industrial automation domain as a professional. Today we have a very special guest with us, Mr. Rishabh. He is one of the engineering students and you would be amazed to see that how much skill set he gained at very young age. How someone can get a skill set, what's needed in industry, same as Rishabh, he would be telling you his tips and tricks, how he accomplished so much at the age of 20 years. So I introduce Mr. Rishab to talk further about that. Thank you, Noman, for having me here. So my name is Rishab, and I'm currently pursuing my bachelor's in instrumentation and control engineering. And I would like to share an approach or you can take it as a mindset for learning industrial automation because currently I'm just completing my bachelor's and I'm able to teach these concepts on my channel whose name is Paro Automates with over 30,000 subscribers. But the point is that the approach that I used while learning my engineering, you can also use it. And it's never too late to start in industrial automation. At age, at any age, you can start industrial automation. But it only takes some zeal and few steps that I will tell you in this video so that you can grow with me. First of all, let us try to understand our education system. Our education system requires a bachelor's and after completing the bachelor's, we get hired into a company and for that company, we are just a fresher in an instrumentation company or an industrial automation company. And by the time we try to learn many things, we try to gain experience so that we can get a higher pay. But what I learned is that whatever I'm learning in my engineering is not actually applied in the actual field. So what I did is I tried to approach the people who are actually working in the field and I try to ask them the what are the skills that I need to work on so that I can become a better automation engineer or an instrumentation engineer. And I realized that these skills were not taught in my engineering or not in my education system. And I was exploring out of the way. So these skills helped me learn a lot and these skills were able to be applied in the actual field because I'm giving a solution through my videos and these video solution are actually implied in the field. And these things are most of them are learned through online tutorials, be it any online course, be it any personal experience and be it any webinar that I usually attend. But the most important part is that I was really passionate about this field that I was so sure that I will build a career into this field. So first of all, have a clarity in your mind that you really want to build a career in this field. This will definitely give you a further steps that how you should approach in industrial automation. Second thing is that you need to get experience in industrial automation or instrumentation field. And you can only get by working into a company. But what actually happened in my case is that in our engineering, there are very few internships or you can say there are no internships in core instrumentation field or industrial automation field. There will be more internship opportunities in IT sector. So what I did is that I went to a company and I told the company that, sir, I am willing to work for free here for the span of six months for the hope of learning. I did this for many companies and there I learned the core concepts of actual industrial automation because I was really passionate about the uh, sensors, these VFDs and these PLC and through the online course material, through various courses that I did, I learned all these concepts and I was able to learn them practically when I worked into a field. So it really doesn't matter if you get our experience after your engineering or after you get uh, are working in a field. But experience is very important because it's very hard to relate your books with the actual engineering. Because when you see a actual conveyor belt moving, then you will relate. Okay, now that's how our sensors are working. So it's very important for you to get an experience and. For you, you can go out to reach out to any company, any panel manufacturing companies and just share out your uh, basic curiosity be, be it or just share some basic project that you have built and just show that you are the right person that uh, if you will work there, you will be a very productive guy to them. So this is what I did in my case. Third thing is that talk to people who are actually working in field. Please don't talk to people who are just your friends and family. I feel that they will misguide you in this field. So talk to those people who are in the field, who are actually our control system engineer, who are system architect or who are making a career in this field. And the best way is using your social profiles, be it LinkedIn, be it Instagram and be it any Facebook group also. Just connect to those people and understand what skills they have developed. 
Suppose I am good at PLC programming, I am good at VFD programming and I am good at sensors also. So these skills I have learned with from the people also that they have built their career by understanding these skills. So it's very important to know which skills that you need to work upon. And through this channel also and through my channel also and through any automation channel, this will give you an idea of what you can do to become an actual instrumentation engineer. And the second part is that doing any course or learning from any Google material, it really doesn't matter until unless you are not able to apply it. So if you can get somewhere, you get a small PLC to start with, I think this is a very good approach to start with a PLC programming or if you are not able to get a VFD, just start with basic motor driver. I think there are cheap modules that come with small microcontroller or even with microprocessor. I think this will give you a head start in industrial automation because it's very hard for anyone to purchase the actual PLCs or VFD but still there are always alternative for them. Like you can start with small modules, small sensor module and just try to integrate them and give a automation solution. So this is what I did when I started learning the industrial automation. Third thing is that if you're really passionate about industrial automation and you just want someone to give you some work related to industrial automation, I would suggest work for free at start. Please don't value yourself until unless you don't have any skill. Because when you work for free for people, this is what I feel. When you work for free for people, they give you ample amount of opportunities that are bigger than the small piece of money that they offer. Because this is what I did at my starting of my engineering. I used to work for the people. I just used to do panel wiring also. I used to do PLC programming also just for the free. I just shared my curiosity with them and they were able to give me opportunities and that helped me to grow my knowledge in PLC programming and through VFD programming. And I urge you, you can also do this and it only takes some starting initiative and when you become an experience in your field, then approach those company and tell that you know all these required skills that the company profile look for. Last thing that I learned is that when I used to visit company profiles or the job profiles that the company was asking for, so I always used to look for the skills that they require. And I tried to understand that why they were asking for these skills, why they're asking for the SCADA system and why they're asking for system architect, who are these people? So I tried to learn these skills, how we can approach this job profile. And learning these skills, skills helped me to explore the actual instrumentation. So I want you to approach these companies and look for their job profiles. You can find them on LinkedIn or just go to the career section of these websites. You will be able to explore the companies and their job profiles. So I would like to end this by saying that most people will miss great opportunities by their misperception of time. Please don't wait. The time is never right. Start with any opportunity that you get in instrumentation and automation field. Just start because I strongly believe after the 5 to 10 years, you definitely have a bright future. And that's all from my side and I wish a happy future and a bright future for you all.